Tyler Frost and Josh Barnett drop out of the side. In comes Josh Stokes and Oliver, uh, Oliver Scott. They play with Jordi Van Stapishoff in goal. It's a back three of Hadji Magorma, Kean Harries and Ollie Harfield. The wing backs of Ryan Glover and Ollie Scott with Theo Widrington, the son of manager Tommy. He plays in defensive mil midfield alongside Tommy Willard. Then Josh Stokes on loan from Bristol City with 18 goals this season. He is the man in the hole behind James Daly and Laurent Talage. What a turnaround it has been under the former Hartlepool United player Tommy Widrington. He's the man at the helm trying to architect their promotion to the Football League. He's not coming with me, and so it's that cat mouse. Man, he's got the ball now in the box, quick free kick. And he lays it off for Nicky Featherston inside the box. His shot is crowded out. Desiree goes down, oh. and the referee with the whistle to his lips points to the penalty spot. Manny Desiree did not give up the fight. He wins another spot kick. He has the ball under his arm, and Hartlepool United's top goal scorer has an opportunity to put them into the lead. Yeah, it's hard to see. Well, Manny Desiree pulls top goal scorer, 22 for the campaign, up against Jordi Van Steppershoff at six foot six. Desiree, right foot in, oh, in the left Emphatic from Hartlepool United's talisman. He does not miss from the spot. Manny Desiree with the breakthrough. And how many times have we said that this season? His 23rd of the campaign. He celebrates with the town end. Eight minutes on the clock. It's Hartlepool United 1, it's Aldershot 0. Wins the header for Hartlepool United, who are leading by a goal to nil. Manny Desiree back to Cook. Cook tries to drop the shoulder and drift past his man. He does really well, he's gone down, but he's found Desiree Back to Cook, edge of the area, lays it off to Crawford. On that right foot of his, and the shot goes through a crowd of bodies. And it's easily saved in the end by Van Stappershoff. Now, Laurent Talage is in conversation with Theo Widrington here I don't oh. know I don't know what Theo could have. oh a little That's back heel from Widrington Talaj with a shot like an arrow and palmed behind by Jameson a training ground move that almost caught Pools on their heels but Jameson did really well to get a good sight of that and palm it behind because it arrived with real pace it remains Pools 1 Aldershot nil, and Aldershot now having a break in play because Haji, Tala, uh, Haji Magoma is sat down and, and needs some treatment but a really good strike there from Talaj play but Aldershot on the attack crossing the halfway line now with Willard out to Glover with the chalk on his boots out on the right hand side the ball trickles all the way through to Daly back to Talaj oh does really well to find oh. the angle and then brushes the ball past the far post of Pete Jameson Talaj showing his football IQ there just to sit the pool's defender down work the angle for himself on the 18 yard line and he zipped his shot right across the face of goal the only thing that was lacking was the ball hitting the back of the net he did everything else right but it remains pools one, Aldershot nil. Waterfall is just overran. And now Aldershot oh, looking well. to get back at pools, but Waterfall stood his ground, and as Mickey Barron described, stood his ground really well. Still Aldershot come forward, ball out to the left-hand side, Crawford tries to block the cross and doesn't. Comes into the area, bounces down, and Jameson fumbles it behind for a corner. Yeah, too easy to have all the shot. The first of all, cross the ball. I think Crawford's got to try and do more to stop the cross. And, and no one's really attacked the ball from Hartley Pole's point of view. Seem to be waiting for each other to go and get the ball. And Cadney peeling away on this near side. Gives it back to Harry's. Infield now. Back to Harry's it comes. There's an air of an inevitability about this here. Widrington with the header. Doesn't quite reach Stokes. Waterfall tries to clear. Back into Stokes. Sorts his feet oh, out. And then a save by Jameson at his near post. Hands up high above his head to block that shot. 50 minutes on the clock. Five minutes into this second half. 
and the shots are raining down on Jameson's goal. Brewer tries to play it into Cook. Can he sort his feet out? Can he round the keeper? He might get a second chance. He goes round the keeper. It doesn't fall for him. Manny Desiree with a shot which is cleared off the line. It's still not away. Joe Gray heads out to the right hand side for Crawford. How did that not end up in the back of the net? Crawford takes it up towards the corner flag and wins a corner. Well, Mickey Barron picked the bones out of that. <coughs> yeah, I think it was great play for Manny who used his strength to win the ball in the first place, ran down the line and crossed it for Crawford. I think Crawford should just hit it his first time. It's Cook. Oh, sorry, yeah. Cook. Sorry, should have just hit it in. And he's trying to cut back and sort of sort of send the defenders the wrong way when the keeper's made a good save and then someone's come back to clear it out but it's probably the best chance of the second half and Hartley Pool it's corner to Pools their first of the second half into the front post they're oh. from Park oh. at the front post Tom Parks makes it oh so much more comfortable and Hartley Pool United make no mistake have scored from a corner and that is like a golden nugget this season it hasn't happened enough but Parks flicked on the ball in from Featherston at the front post it went in on him off the crossbar and finally Pools have some breathing space with four minutes left to play what a bonkers game. Yeah. Hartlepool United to Aldershot nil. Tom Parks, your BBC Radio T Sport man of the match, as nominated by our expert pool summariser, Mickey Barron. And there is the final whistle. Hartlepool United to Roch... Uh, Hartlepool United, let's start that again. Rochdale, he's having flashbacks there. Hartlepool United to Aldershot nil.